G'day everyone, I am Azure Blaze, and the final DLC for Sonic Frontiers has released about almost roughly a week ago. And I have been playing through it, and I'm gonna say, like, right before I start this, I haven't finished it yet. I. <laughs> and I will get into why during the video, however. Yeah, no, I haven't, I haven't finished it yet. Um, I guess for some context, I've been playing it through on hard mode, as I have for the rest of the entire game, because. Hard mode really wasn't that hard until now, <laughs> and um, yeah, I've been playing through on hard mode, and it is taking a lot longer than I was expecting. I was hoping to have it all done, have all my thoughts out and everything like that, all ready to go for this video, and that is not the case, as I am now recording this probably, I don't know, what's the time? I don't know, like nine hours, nine and a bit hours before this video goes up, I have to like record it, edit it, spend like almost two hours uploading if my internet's going to be like it usually is. <laughs> it's going to be a whole thing. Um, yeah, no, and all I've got here is really some notes and all that sort of thing. Therefore, yes, I'm going to get into my current thoughts on Sonic Frontiers' final DLC. And I'm going to start with the playable characters. Because, yes. Um, thus far, I, I don't know if Sage is playable later. She might be, I'm not sure. However, I have played as Amy. I mean, I guess even more context. I am up to the final um, trial with Sonic at the moment, and it is difficult. However, I'll get back to that. Yeah, the playable characters. Amy, uh, really fun. <laughs> I actually, I really enjoy playing as Amy. She's somewhat floaty and she can jump quite high. She can get a, a lot of distance when you upgrade her. Um, wait, uh, I think she can do that without it. I don't know, I can't remember. However, um, yeah, she can get a lot of distance with her special floaty card thingy that she does. And it's it's really fun to do that. And I like that she's the first one they give you to play as because I feel like it's a good, she's like a good basis for what the other characters can do with their air control later on down the line. And I think that's the big thing that differentiates these characters from Sonic is their air control. They all have something unique to them that allows them to stay in the air way longer than Sonic would ever hope to be able to do. <laughs> because, yeah, that's simply how they are. That's not what I was expecting from Amy, however, Amy is quite fun to play as. Knuckles, on the other hand, I haven't been having that much fun playing as Knuckles. I, I find him quite difficult to control. Uh, he can't jump very high, which is a normal Knuckles staple. And I, I tend to especially have a lot of trouble with his gliding. I don't know why or how it's specifically controlling. I was, I guess I was maybe expecting it if he had the glide to control like Sonic Adventure 1 and 2's glide. However, I, I think he controls somewhat like that. However, at the same time, it's like, it's really strange. It, like, I, I kind of wish it pulled the camera around as you went around because it tends to get really finicky to do and is really difficult to use and to be honest I haven't been having that much fun with Knuckles at all <laughs> like regardless whether he be on ground or anything like that I don't know I think um the other thing with his glide and his stomp specifically is they have a lot of delay before they start like you, you will hold down the button and then you'll do a whole thing and then he'll start gliding and it's like why <laughs> like, why couldn't he go straight into the glide because uh, I, there's a lot of times where I'm like, I press the button, I'm like, oh, I haven't started gliding, I'll press the button again, and it like messes up the glide and all that sort of thing, and it's, it's, it's strange. Tails is amazing. He is by far my favorite new character in this game. Um, upgrading him really high allows for like such a fast way to get around areas. You, you can bypass puzzles and all that sort of thing because he essentially gets into his mech from Sonic Adventure 2. And you can fly around it with it as much as you pretty much want, but I understand. Like, it uses your boost meter up, however, if you use the infinite boost trick right before you use it, go wherever you want, like, it's really quick, and all that sort of thing. Um, his wrench attack, while I would personally prefer he had, like, a physical close-up attack, his wrench attack's pretty quick. Like, it works really quickly. It's um, good at taking out enemies and all that sort of thing. No homing attack, which is... A choice, I think. I think that's an interesting choice. However, I mean, he's, he's overpowered for the most part. I don't think I think they had to like make some comeback somewhere. Yeah. Overall, though, the playable characters are amazing. I have been having such a fun time with the playable characters. Knuckles, as I said, a little bit iffy. However, Amy and Tails, great. I'm glad that they have added them, and I'm glad that you can play as them again. It's been such a long time. 
um, for the story side of things. As I said, I haven't finished it yet, therefore I don't know really how it ends. I haven't even got up to the final boss or anything like that because I can't get through the boss rush trial, basically, is what it is. Um, however, yeah, the story itself, there's there's a fair amount of new lore, especially on what's happening around with the ruins and the ancients and all that sort of thing, and I, I like that. I think that's nice to have, like, it expanded on and all that sort of thing. Um, there's more character development, probably not as much as there has been in the base game, but what I've seen yet, at least. However, the Amy, Knuckles, and Tails, they all get different little moments and all that sort of thing. Sonic gets some new things and all that sort of thing. I like the character development in this game, <laughs> and that would be something I will be saving for like my final thoughts on the game overall as well, I think. Um, everyone gets to see what the corruption is like as well, like all the other characters, which is... I, I think it's a good way of showing how bad the corruption really is, because a lot of the time during the main story, Sonic is corrupted, however, like, he, he's corrupted for like... I mean, he's corrupted the whole time, however, like... He, he sort of like it shows the effects on him for like three seconds and then he goes running like all that sort of thing whereas with these characters they have like whole cutscenes where they're like basically like <laughs> and they they like struggle with it and um it shows them struggling with it and they're sort of like sonic did this for like three islands how or what <laughs> type thing and then yeah like I, in my opinion it really shows how bad the corruption is on the characters and despite how much like it makes the character struggle like I do like that it shows that a little better I, I think that's quite nice um the trials which is Sonic's main part of the new story oh gosh getting up to them was very frustrating sometimes <laughs> a lot of the time and I feel like sometimes like it, it's not something that I would generally complain about because I like difficult Sonic stuff uh Sonic Unleashed is my favorite Sonic game and I really like getting through those stages as quickly as possible difficult Sonic things is fine Sometimes I feel like the game has a little bit of clunk to it, however, and like trying to like go through these like super precise areas and all that sort of thing, like sometimes you can fail and it doesn't feel like your fault. And that that can be a little bit frustrating sometimes. For the most part, if it's your fault, like, if, like when is my fault, I'm like, oh yeah, I messed up there, that's fine. However, there's like other times where it's like, I've like, you have everything set up perfectly almost and it's like, you got to do it and then something happens, whether it be the camera shifts wrong or like you happen to hit something that you didn't see coming or that sort of thing. Like th that could be somewhat frustrating. And yeah, th there's many a time where I, I straight up fell. I think um, I put up as one of my quick clips that uh, like I got up to the top of a tower and I went well over the, the top. There was a, um, there's like a roof area of it that comes up once the towers open up and all that sort of thing. And I was like, okay, I'll I'll stomp down on top of it and then I'll jump around underneath it to where I'm meet, like, meant to go and all that sort of thing. And I went to stop down on top of it. It wasn't physical. I fell straight through it all the way back down to the bottom. That was, no, that, that was not, <laughs> that was not fun. Um, there are two of the trials, specifically, talking about the trials now, not specifically the towers to get up to the trials. Uh, two of the trials were quite simple. Uh, I can't remember what they're called specifically. I was meant to write them down. In my notes, I've got like dots where I <laughs> where I meant to write them down. I forgot to do that before I started recording. That's all right. Um, two of the trials, yeah, they're, they're pretty good. They're pretty simple type things, like little battle trials. That, pretty simple. The snake trial, I remember that one because I was stuck on it for ages, where you have to like um silo these specific enemies like a lot and then take them out before the time runs out and like the timer is like with the the other two trials that i was talking about that are a lot easier they they give you a lot of time to do them like i had like one that had like a couple of minutes left i think almost i think i might be wrong there i think um yeah i had one like it was like i had loads left where the snake trial was like it gives you almost nothing <laughs> and like it was it was difficult it was really difficult and then i think it's the master king coco i think that's his name i might be wrong his trial which is a boss rush however you have to parry at exact timings oh my <laughs> okay i am stuck on wyvern i cannot get past wyvern at the moment mainly because i am having such a hard time trying to do the parries and a lot of it, like, yeah, I can understand a lot of it's my fault, like, um, I don't press the parry at the right time or anything like that. However, there's a lot of times where it's like, I can't tell, I'm having a really hard time struggling, like, 
trying to figure out when the enemy is gonna hit. Uh, I, I, like the moves are conveyed. That's not like the issue or anything like that. There's a plenty of anticipation in their animations to get it up on, like um, to yeah, to like get the move ready and all that sort of thing. However, it's like it's it's really difficult sometimes. Like um, there's one with Giganto where he does like a spin, and it shows like the effect lines for what you can get hit, hit in, like on all three of his spins. However, like you're meant to hit the parry at a very specific right time and I can't tell whether it's at the start, at the end, or in the middle, or of what it is of that spin and like I can't do it. I honestly can't do it. Like for the most part I end up dodging that instead of like actually doing the parry because I simply cannot do that. It is way too difficult. He has another move where he like normally hits and I think I might be wrong. However, I think um, his animation changes speed sometimes and it's a little bit difficult to tell where like he, he in, like um, his animation plays anticipation. He puts his arm back, getting ready to slash, and then all of a sudden, like it's like it's there, like right in front of you. Like sometimes the animation is a lot slower, and you can like time it properly. Sometimes it's really, really fast, and it's like what's happening. And I had a lot of problems with the camera as well, where the camera would get stuck in front of Sonic, and I had to like get back to Giganto while the camera was in front of him, and I couldn't see where his arm was and all that sort of thing. That that was a whole thing. Um, and same sort of thing with Wyvern. I was having a lot of trouble, like, the the missiles for the most part, quite simple. They're like, <laughs> you don't, like, um, generally, like, you can see them coming and you can parry at the right time. They're, they're pretty good most of the time. I have had a lot of issues where it's like, I cannot see where the missile is coming from, though. Like, I'm getting ready for this one missile that looks like it's about to hit me and then another one comes off screen off the left or something like that and it hits me. It's like, okay. And then there'd be other times where I've, um... I've like bounced the missile back and I go into this like the, the speed flight thing you need to go up beside Wyvern and and all of a sudden the, another missile hits me while I'm in that speed flight thingy and it's like it cancels out the whole thing that happened then it's like really really yeah that's like that's a whole thing and it's been quite frustrating and last night when I was playing it I gave up. Like I was like, then that's it. I'm gonna go play something else at the moment because this is getting really frustrating. <laughs> like before that, I actually went and played uh, Cyberspace Stage because I hadn't done that yet, which was interesting. However, I'll get to that in a moment. Um, yeah, no, the the boss rushes. Oh gosh. <laughs> okay. Um, Helvi, I do plan on finishing it. Hopefully before next week. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. However, I'll see, yeah. The, oh gosh. Anyway. Um, the next thing, I guess, yeah. Uh, well, that that's painfully difficult. The cyberspace stage. Uh, that was kind of difficult as well. Uh, not as difficult. I think I got through it fairly simply. The biggest problem I have with it... <laughs> there's a lot of problems in this. Um, I, I, I did have... I, I'm having fun. Don't, don't worry. It's not all problems. However, um, there is like more objectives that you can get in the cyberspace stages on the in the new story and all that sort of thing and one of them like the most of them are fine getting the bingo numbers like i'm used to that the silver moons i'm used to that as well i've played forces a lot i'm, I'm, I'm pretty used to that however collecting the animals and making sure they stay safe okay <laughs> i don't know who decided it was okay to have sonic slow down to almost a crawl whenever he picks up an animal to take it to where they need to go Oh gosh, that's, that's horrible. And the other thing is the animals are tiny and you're speeding through these stages and I cannot find them. <laughs> like I, I managed to find two on the stage that I did. I could not find the first one. I went back in, could not find it again. I could not do it. Like it's, it's really now off with the other cyberspace stages that were already present in the game. A lot of the time you could almost get every single challenge done in your first run. And I think that's a pretty neat way of designing it. Like people who are good at the game can get almost all of it done straight away. People who maybe aren't as good as the game can go back in and get it. This one almost requires, I, I, I would say it does require, I think, um, multiple playthroughs of it because specifically this stage that I did has multiple paths and on these multiple paths are the different objectives as well, which means, yeah, definitely <laughs> multiple playthroughs there. Um, yeah, no, I, for the most part though, I did enjoy the stage. Um, and I guess the last thing I sort of want to talk about with the new DLC is the music. And each character has their own theme when you're playing as them. And I really, really like that. I do kind of wish it was a little bit more upbeat. 
some of the music. However, I think it works quite well overall. Um, oh, this, this video is getting a little bit longer now. I don't know if I'm going to have enough footage to cover this video. I will find out. However, yeah. Um, overall though, like despite everything I have talked about for the last almost 15 minutes, <laughs> I have been quite enjoying this. Uh, it's, it's definitely getting a little bit frustrating every now and then. And I feel it's like a little bit... I, I don't know. I haven't I haven't got to the end yet. I, I think the biggest thoughts will come to the end. This is more my current like what I'm up to at the moment type thing. However, yeah, no. For for the most part, I am quite enjoying it. I'm curious to see where it goes. I really want to see what the final boss battle is like. And yeah. However, for now, I believe that is all for me. I hope everyone enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching, and I shall be back in the next one. Cheers, everyone.